Now, this is a really good example because what this highlights is how you can use the butterfly to trade very high price stocks with very low risk. And uh, this is one that we set up on a directional wide wing butterfly on Amazon back when it was trading, you know, over $1,700, $1,800 per share. So this was doing a, a $1,000 wide or $10 wide spread. All right. So with Amazon back when it was before it split, you know, it was trading at these crazy prices. 1782 was the, uh, the price in this example. So it was trading down here to this big moving average support right there. That's a 200 day moving average. So you can see it's just been it was just bouncing around up and down, up and down, up and down. So we were looking for a move to potentially up here to 1830, this kind of target area right there. So the 1830, there was good option activity. There was good, uh, you know, resistance based on the Fibonacci level, that 382 and some other things we were looking at. So we were targeting the 1830. But, you know, to trade Amazon and go out and buy 100 shares uh, back when it was trading at this price would be, you're looking at, you know, 100 shares, that'd be over $178,000 just for 100 shares. So a huge amount of risk. So not too many people can do that other than institutions or hedge funds back then. But if you wanted to play Amazon because it was a great mover, you could have done it using options and doing an option butterfly in this example. So with this one, we were looking again for the 1830 target, but we didn't buy the shares, we did a butterfly. So we bought the 1820, targeted the 1830, then the 1830, 1840. So we had a $10 wide butterfly and the cost of this trade, look at this, was 80 cents. All right, or $80 per butterfly spread. So the spread was, you know, $10 wide or $1,000 per option contract, lesser cost of the trade, the debit cost of 80. So the potential for this trade was to make $920 per spread. That'd be a 1,150% return or uh, risk a dollar to make 1150. Now look at the difference here. So if you'd done it with the shares and you made the move to 1830, well, you made $48 per share uh, which was a 2.69% return, but huge amount of risk, right? So if you're, you know, out 178,000 and it went down, that's a, you know, kind of a nerve wracking type of uh, risk that you're taking versus this, a risk of 80 bucks. So, you know, do one contract or 10, you can see the difference uh, and you can really get leveraged up. So instead of just being able to buy 100 shares and cost 178, we could actually done, you know, you know 10 contracts, which would be, like a uh, thousand shares and we could have you know had a controlled risk of just eight hundred dollars okay so just a lot of different things that uh, give you that advantage the leverage the controlled risk playing high price stocks playing volatility now another really cool thing is to show you the difference in how time decay works and and volatility crush works so in this trade it was set up on the six, six okay now, I'm sorry, it was traded up, uh, you know, start, we got into the spread earlier, but this was the expiration. So this was on the day of expiration in the morning. Okay. So uh, in the morning, the, the trade started out, it was traded at 1836, basically. So it had uh, overshot our target of 1830. Okay. So it was trading right here, but it was still in, in uh, you know, in the green, it was still had a nice profit. So the spread at uh, about, this was about 10, 10 o'clock a.m. in the morning. Uh, at that point in time, it was trading right here. You see all that black area is what's potentially profit. But the spread was up $150 per spread. So it went from 80 cents or $80. Now it's trading at 230. So we had a profit of 150 per butterfly spread, which is 187% return. Really great return though still. Now this is in the morning, so this is the other great thing with the butterfly, because there's all that potential profit in there, and that's what what is based on the volatility that you sold, and the time that you sold from the sell side component of the spread. All right. So then later in the afternoon, towards the close, is about you know two thirty, the spread. Now look at it, how uh, the difference. So now the spread uh, was up to went from eighty dollars now is at 695 dollars and so now the spread was up 614 dollars per spread all right so that was from morning to afternoon in the morning it was up 150 percent or 185 dollars in the afternoon just from the see all that uh, volatility that's being sucked out and at the end of the day there's nothing left 
So now the profit was up to 614 per spread or 769% return. So four, four to one increase just within the few hours of the day as that was sucking out the volatility and time versus if you'd done the shares, 2.69% return gain and all that risk. So this is a, a good example to show you a number of things, how you can trade a high price stock for very low cost, and then the uh, you know benefit of the volatility and, uh, and and theta coming out at the end of the day, how that really uh, impacts and, and and jacks that that return up uh, exponentially. So that's a an example there of you know incorporating the the you know wide wing butterfly there.